The Hugging Face H4 team has released Zephyr 7B Beta. This is the second model in the Zephyr series of language models that are trained to act as helpful assistants. This model performs much better than Zephyr 7B Alpha and it is the highest ranked 7B chat model on MT Bench and Alpaca Eval. Its performance on these two benchmarks is quite close to a GPT 3.5 Turbo, your chat GPT. And uh, whereas GPT-4 is much better than Zephyr 7B Beta over here in these two benchmarks. So on several categories of MT Bench, Zephyr 7B Beta has strong performance compared to larger open models like Llama to Chat 70 billion. But on more complex like coding and mathematics, this model lags behind proprietary models and more research is needed to close the gap. This model is available the demo is available over here, Zephyr chat demo. So I tried out over there by asking some questions like, why do we perceive the earth to be flat when on ground? It gives a detailed explanation for this question saying it's about the curvature of the horizon, the distance perception, lack of visual cues. And it says this optical illusion makes it easy to overlook the curvature of the earth. But as you are altitude increases, you begin to see the actual curve of the horizon demonstrating that the earth is in fact round. I asked another question, which algorithm is better decision trees or XGBoost? It gives a very detailed explanation over here. So there is this uh, LLM arena, okay, or arena.lmsys.org where you can compare chatbots side by side. So over here, I compared Zephyr 7B beta and Zephyr 7B alpha for the same question. Uh, in, uh, the question is which algorithm is better SVM or decision tree list advantages and disadvantages. I see that Zephyr 7B beta gives a much longer explanation, much better explanation than Zephyr 7B alpha over here. I'm seeing this consistent behavior where Zephyr 7B beta is giving more details. So how was Zephyr 7B beta trained? So for that, we will go to the paper over here. There is also this post from Thomas Wolf uh, from Hugging Face uh, where he talks about you know how was this model uh, trained right and what is the intuition behind it. So the first step is to start with the strongest pre-trained model which is Mistral 7B. Then they make use of uh, human preference annotations so by they are uh, creating data sets for it to be this thing. Then uh, they make use of, uh, instead of reinforcement learning, they make use of direct preference optimization. And what they say is that don't be scared of overfitting on preference data set and share everything openly, including the recipes, code, model, everything. Okay. Um, so I went to the paper over here to understand more about um, how this was trained. So quickly we'll look into it. So there are three steps. The first step is called distilled supervised fine tuning. The second step is AI feedback collection and the third step is distillation of AI preferences. That is distilled direct preference optimization. Now what are these three steps? So in the first step, uh, there is a data set of prompts from which a prompt will be sampled. Then an LLM will be used over here like GPT-4 which will actually simulate multi-turn user assistant interactions from this prompt. And then these dialogues are used for supervised fine tuning of this Mistral LLM. In the second uh, stage, what they are doing over here is that they are giving a particular prompt to uh, four different language models. It could be Claude, it could be Falcon, uh, it could be Llama and the responses are generated from that. GPT-4 is used to rank these response. There are two responses, the highest, uh, the best response and the lowest response. So then what they do over here is that they again take this particular uh, Mistral which has been fine tuned over here and they give this prompt and get a response from it. And uh, you know, they select best and another random response over here. And based on that, they do direct preference optimization. To go into slightly more details, it is explained over here. What is distilled supervised fine tuning in the first step? Distilled supervised fine tuning is you have access to teacher language models, which are large language models like GPT-4. So you can use that model to generate instructions and responses. So creation of this data set 
is your distilled supervised fine tuning or first step what is done over here is that uh, there are seed prompts which are constructed to represent a diverse set of topical domains a data set is constructed through iterative self prompting where the teacher is used to both respond to an instruction as well as refine the instruction based on the response so in this way you are creating a new set of uh, responses as well as prompt refinement in this way you are creating a final data set so this is your first stage on which you are doing uh, supervised fine tuning of your mistral model okay then the second step is ai feedback from human references which i explained so what is done over here is that uh as with supervised fine system starts with a set of prompts each prompt is fed to a collection of four models which could be claude falcon llama and any other model and a response is generated from each of this model for that particular input the responses are then fed to the teacher model which is gpt4 which gives a score for the response and then they create a tuple over here with input which is your prompt the highest scoring response yw the lowest scoring response yl okay so this is a triple which has been created over here now there is the third step of distilled direct preference optimization so what is done over here is the fine tuned uh, 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 what you call your distilled fine tuned supervised model which has been created in the first step the uh, the mistral uh, fine tuned model so that is uh, improved over here with distilled direct preference optimization alignment is done over here so what it does is that uh, the preference model uh, there is something called as a preference model which uh, uh, which maximizes the likelihood between the best preferred response versus the lower response the preference model is determined by a reward function which utilizes the student language model so what is done over here is that there is this equation but the idea is simple over here so you start with your um, distilled supervised fine tune version of the model we iterate through each ai feedback tr uh, triple where you have x y w y y l y w is the best uh, response y l is the lowest response you compute the probability for given a prompt x w x whether y w gets generated and uh, given the prompt x whether y1 is getting generated from our uh, la uh, mistral fine tuned distilled supervised model in the forward only okay then you compute the probability from the distilled uh, direct preference optimum model for the same thing and then you plug in back these probabilities in this equation you compute uh, uh, this equation and then you back propagate to update the models okay so in this way you get your uh, your uh, the fire 7b beta model okay that is the process over here more details you can find in this paper from whatever i have understood as of now based on these methods which have been mentioned over here i have actually explained how this model has been trained so this model shows very good uh, results so they explain the data set over here and where it was evaluated and uh, they say that uh, how this uh, uh, sft training supervised fine tuning was done how this dpo training was done they explain over here and then they say that this particular distilled dpo improves chat capabilities of this model uh, that is what they are saying over here so further details are present in this paper uh, i think the key uh, thing over here is this recipe of how they are actually improving the model without using reinforcement learning feedback but something called as distilled direct preference optimization how they are making use of other language models to create these responses as ground truth for uh, a or ai feedback for improving the model using uh, distilled direct preference optimization and how they are using a large language model for creating this data set for fine tuning distilled fine tuning so that is uh, the key thing over here so this is an exciting model it's already available on um, hugging face you can actually download this model and you can try it on your particular task so this is a short video on zephyr 7b beta i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video